did you guys record exclusively with your guitars for this album? Yeah, actually, uh, well, you did. We did like the rhythm guitars. All the one things were done on this, like um, a prototype seven-string version of my signature that sounded so fucking heavy. And we put twelve to sixty-fives on it in standard. You know, I mean, some of you play twelves and I drop B and shit, but this was E standard twelve to sixty-five. That shit, it almost ripped. My fingers are still damaged. From this dude. <laughs> They're still damaged from it, and I've never experienced like finger fatigue before. Um, we did that. We did some layering with uh, Nick has an authentic 1957 gold top, Les Paul gold top. Which with all the original parts, so it's worth a bit. And it was, it was fucking awesome. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, I was doing. Uh, Matt was like tracking some guitars and stuff, and uh, I was in a separate studio tracking like because this record's got a ton of like guitar melodies or, or like other parts layered underneath like the basic rhythm that he was laying down. So I was in there in another studio like by myself like tracking all this other stuff, which actually helped out because near the end of the record, like if I didn't do that at the same time everyone else, we would have been really far behind. But uh, I use everything, um, I change like different heads for different parts and also I brought a whole bunch of guitars, like some of my old old Dean stuff, so I even brought some of my, my old Jackson stuff, I, did, I pretty much brought like whatever guitar I had that had different pickups, so I at least had a variety, like if I was going for a certain sound, because if you use everything like with EMGs or, or like active pickups, you can have like six guitars, but there's not going to be any difference in sound. Yeah, so I tried to bring, even if they weren't Deans or whatever, you know, we, yep. we, we brought everything that had different pickups, so if we wanted to try to get a certain tone. The major, yeah, the majority, he, he did the majority of his solos on his stage. Yeah. The majority of my, um, my, the majority, majority of my solos on the Rising Sun one. The majority of the rhythms on the white one that you'll see tonight. We're playing those two tonight. All right. Where can the fans get your guitars? Where's the best place for information on it? Right, DeanGuitars.com. They have the list of all the dealers across the states. And uh, yeah. well, the it's like right now it's they're just I think July. Last time I talked to them, July is when they start like all the pre-orders that they've had. They start shipping them out. So starting in July, there'll be a lot more uh, available. I guess well, they'll just start being available actually to buy. And then you know the more they're out there, then more places will will start picking them up. Like probably like musicians friend. Like once they people know that they're available to buy and they can actually get them and they'll start showing up in more places so it's just getting started right now but uh right dean guitars is you know obviously the, the source to go for a bus <laughs> <laughs> sell them out of fucking car trunks <laughs> info on the band tell the fans where to go www.trivium.org www.myspace.com slash trivium www.youtube.com slash trivium www.trivium.com Three out of four. Or just www.google.com trivium search. Trivium sucks. Enter. <laughs> <laughs> it's your time to add anything, say anything, take it over, guys. Check out all those sites. Um, if you feel like joining our super exclusive tree club, our treehouse <laughs> club, join Trivium World. Um, there's a picture of me and practical speedos. An infected, <laughs> an infected mullet in excision, which had staph infection of mine. Um, what else? Funny blogs, my username for Call of Duty 4. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, check out all the sites, and uh, we are starting to do video updates and stuff, kind of like. They're uh, hilarious. Kind of like uh, updates, kind of like build up into the record, kind of more info is starting to come out. So, uh, keep going to those sites to keep up to date on, uh, you know, info about the record and find out new stuff, and then hopefully pick up the record when it comes out in September. So, uh, we'll see you on tour. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Awesome, yeah. thank you.